Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is kind of a weird topic video. It's something that I thought of that I felt like would be really, really helpful to a lot of you guys who may be younger viewers or even older viewers. Um, it's just a video about bras. And um, a lot of times we talk about our outerwear and we want to feature certain outfits and you guys probably want to wear certain things, but it's hard to find what you're supposed to wear under. So today's video is just like a very standard, basic bras 101 type of video. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to really talk about the anatomy of a bra and kind of the logistical stuff of bras. Then I'll go into maintenance and I'll go into different um, little options when you guys are wearing certain things, maybe for prom or this and that. So um, I hope you guys find this video informational and helpful. Without any further ado, I'm just going to jump straight into it. So first things first, just as a disclaimer, I want to say, I want to mention, I am not necessarily an expert on bras. I work at Victoria's Secret. I have been for about a year and a half. In that time, I've gotten to work in the fitting rooms. I've gotten to do measurements. I've gotten to do a lot of different things that um, you guys probably don't do on a day-to-day -day basis unless you either work in like some sort of intimate shop or um, something like that. Maybe you do retail and you know, um, you maybe you like make clothes and you know about like all this stuff. But um, I just thought this would be really, really helpful because a lot of people, no one tells you this information. This is all stuff that you kind of learn on your own and no one really educates you so um, this is just a video that I hope would be helpful for you guys so to start off this is really weird for me to show you guys this but I'm just gonna treat it as if I pulled out a bra from Victoria's Secret so this is how I'm gonna treat it I really hope that you guys don't take it offensively I'm not trying to offend anyone I just really want to help you guys out uh, for those of you who are having some trouble about fit and um, just questions about bras so I'm here, I have just a regular bra. So this is the Victoria's Secret Perfect Shape t-shirt bra. Now this is just one of like an ordinary bra, it looks very regular. Um, now I'm gonna, I have a couple points that I wanted to mention. Um, I'm not gonna go too in depth about cup shape because I think that that is something that you should go to your Victoria's Secret, go and talk to your bra fit specialist or whoever is helping you there. Um, but I just wanted to talk about some pretty general things that I notice when I'm working. A lot of girls like to, um, just, let's just start off. A lot of girls like to wear their bras and they wear it at the tightest strap. Now when I say tightest strap, I mean the very first hook right here. Um, when you first buy a bra, so many girls are so used to wearing it here. When you put it on the tightest hook, what you're doing is you're stretching it more than it needs to be stretched. When you first wear a bra and you first buy a bra, you should always be putting it on the last hook right here, the loosest hook. The reason is that, that um, this is going to be a true 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, whatever you are, around. That's what it means. This last hook right here is a true 32 around. As your bra wears and tears and as you wash it and it, the material just gets looser inevitably, that's when you begin to tighten it. So that's when I'm going to go in and when I feel like, oh, this bra needs to be tightened a little bit because I feel like it's getting a bit loose, that's when I start going in to the tighter hooks. So when you start off on the first one, you're not giving it that chance to grow. Um, I don't know what else, what other words to use, but um, that's just one helpful tip for you guys that are maybe feeling like, I just bought it and it's getting loose already around the back. That's probably um, something to keep in mind. The second thing is, if you are smaller chested, so maybe you're in the 32A to 32B, 34B, right in that A and B range, um, and you guys are looking for something push up, um, this is a really good tip. Most of our Victoria's Secret bras, and I'm going to just refer to Victoria's Secret because I'm not being sponsored or paid or anything like that. This is just from my own experience. Um, most of them have this clasp feature that you can unhook and X the back with. Um, the reason that a lot of girls who wear sports bras get a lot of cleavage is because it's really pushing. You're getting support from the back all the way to the front. So um, what that's doing is really pushing all of what you have to the middle or up or you know, whatever the bra looks like, but for those girls that are, like I said, in the smaller cup range, I recommend crossing the back. It may even be more comfortable for some of you guys to wear it with an X-back feature like this. Um, 
and that's just going to give you some push up. I've done this with so many of my customers and they've been very, very happy with the responses. Um, another thing which I wanted to mention, now I'm just, I'm going in random order, but um, if you guys didn't know with our Victoria's Secret bras, you have the halter feature and um, most of the ones that have this kind of a clasp, I don't know if you guys are familiar, I don't know if you guys have any other types of bras that do this, I don't know if it's just Victoria's Secret that does it, but you are you have the option to clasp it right up in the neck. So what that's going to do is if you ever had like a halter type of shirt, you could wear it literally as like a halter top. Not a lot of people know this. Now I'm going to just adjust all my straps because for the sake of this video, I normally wouldn't do this because I have it set on a certain place that I like it, but um, not a lot of people know that you could do a halter strap with our bras. Um, so that's something to keep in mind if that's something you're wearing a dress and it has a halter neck or, um, you know, that's just something to keep in mind. Another thing that I wanted to mention is um, I don't want to go too in depth with push up and cup shape uh, because there's just so many different factors that you have to go into. and. I can't just tell you guys, like, this is the bra for you, this is what you need to buy. It really is a matter of trying it on. But um, another big general issue that I do see with a lot of um, customers is their straps. And a lot of people are like, I don't think this one fits for me. Straps are huge. People don't realize how huge straps can be for you. So um, adjusting your straps and making sure that they're comfortable for you, if you feel like they're falling off, um, adjust, adjust the quick adjustment of this strap is all you need. If you adjust the strap, you may feel like it is, you can feel the difference. So um, if you're feeling like, oh, my bra is not fitting very well, and maybe you're like, you know, spilling out, and maybe that's just a strap issue. But this is the biggest thing that I wanted to mention in this video. When you wear a bra, most people are wearing it incorrectly and I don't mean to say this to be judgmental or anything this is just purely based off of my experience in Victoria's Secret. Most people when they wear their bras it is like up their back it's like close to their neck they're wearing it in this slanted shape so if I were to turn to the side and I were to show you some of how the way that people are wearing their bras it's that it's slanted like this so their back is up high and their bras are facing towards the ground that is not what you want to be doing. This is basically, this is from what I've learned at Victoria's Secret and what has been really successful. It should be parallel to the ground. You should be wearing your bras, like I said, straight across, parallel to the ground. Your straps should fit about, you should be able to lift about an inch away from your shoulders. So, you know, this is a good way to diagnose yourself too when you try on your next bra. Um, if you feel like you're getting kind of like bulginess towards the back, that might be the fit of the bra. You might want something with a wider band. Um, you might want something that has just a little bit more support that goes around. That also might be that the band is too tight around the back. So maybe putting it on the loosest hook would be a good option if you're feeling like, I'm wearing a tight shirt but it's showing all of my, you know, bulginess in the back and I know a lot of women don't like that. So um, that might be another good thing to keep in mind. Um, what else? In terms of cup shape, like I said, I don't want to go into detail. I don't want to go into, you know, how to measure your size. But if you haven't been fit in the past six months, it might be a good time to go into your local Victoria's Secret, not even just Victoria's Secret, Nordstrom, Soma, wherever you guys shop to get your bras. Try to get fit and um, ask them. They're there to help you. They're not just there to be, a, you know, selling whatever stuff to you. It's really there to help you and... Um, you know, get a really comfortable bra. So um, with that said, I think that's generally some helpful tips. I don't, like I said, I don't want to go into too much detail about push up and this and that. Um, if you do have any further questions, please, please, please comment down below, Instagram, DM me, um, Snapchat me, whatever way that you guys want to ask me, please feel free to do that. I would love, love, love to answer your guys' questions. If you're feeling like it's, you know, certain things are cutting into you and you notice my wires are popping out of all my bras, um, this and that, which is a pretty good transition to my next um, topic or my next thing that I want to mention. Maintenance of your bras. This is so important. So, 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 so important. Um, a lot of people, they get lazy and I get lazy too but they dry, they just throw their bras in the dryer, and that is very, 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 very not good. And I don't mean to say that to judge you or to make you feel bad or anything like that, uh, or to call you out or anything, but what basically that happens, what happens when you dry your bras 
is the fabric that the bra is made out of, whatever bra this is, not just Victoria's Secret, it will begin to shrink. That is just what happens with clothes when you put it in the dryer. It shrinks a little, like the dryer will shrink all the thread together. And what that does is when it brings it together, gathers it together, you're going to find lift right here because you're you're pulling all the fabric together, so you're going to find lift. That's when you see your t-shirt, and when you wear a t-shirt, well, that's when you see your bra lines. Some girls want that, other girls really prefer not. Um, that may depend on the shape of the bra cup as well. So um, a demi-style bra at Victoria's Secret would be something more sweetheart like this, but it's just got a little strap that comes like this. If you notice, this is a lot more bug-eye, heart-shaped, sweetheart cut shaped. Now this is obviously a strapless bra too. But something like this has a little bit more coverage going in towards up towards the towards your neck. And I don't mean to say that in a weird way, but if you really don't want those bra lines, those lines that you get when you wear a tight t-shirt and you see it's lifting a little bit, maybe that cup shape is not good for you, maybe the bra is a little bit too big for you, um, maybe you want something that's going to be a little more teardrop shaped, a little more v-cut shaped, and goes a little bit higher up towards your decolletage, towards your collarbone, towards your neck, um, whereas other bras, if I were to put this against myself, this is going to show a little bit more of your t-shirt lines if you're wearing just, you know, a demi-style bra. And a demi-bra, which at Victoria's Secret means it's an, uh, it's a lightly lined bra. It's not something that's going to have push-up in it. Um, this is called a perfect shape, so this has some somewhat of a push-up, but this also has really good coverage. Um, it's like the hybrid between a push-up and a perfect coverage, which I really, really like. Um, this is one of my favorite style of bras, the perfect shape. Um, but like I said, I don't want to go too in-depth with Victoria's Secret bras specifically because I know that most of you guys are shopping at other places as well. But this is just good tips for wherever you're shopping. So what I like to do is, if, I, if I'm not hand-washing my bras and if I get too lazy, which is um, probably really bad, but um, I'll put it in a mesh bag, which you can get at like dollar store for really, really cheap. Um, but I'll put it in a mesh bag, I'll throw it in the wash in delicate cycle um, with all of my other delicates, and then I'll just hang dry them. Hang drying your bras is really important. Um, just let the fabric get back to its normal shape. Um, don't wring out your bras. That's not really good for the bras. There's a full care label, so if you want to read it, just read all that. That's really good for you. Okay, moving on to strapless bras. Strapless bras are huge. The reason that um, I want to talk about strapless bras is because we are going, we are in the summertime. Most of you guys are wearing strapless dresses, dresses with like really slinky sh you know, straps, you probably don't want a big bulky bra strap right there. Um, so that, with that being said, strapless bras are really important. Now if you are larger chested and you're hitting the D, D double D, triple D range, um, and in, in terms of cup size, I would recommend a, um, a non push up strapless bra. And the reason I say that is because, um, I found that when I wear a push-up strapless bra, it feels like it's falling down more than it feels like it's actually supporting me. So what I realized is that instead of looking for something that's going to push me up, finding something that's going to contour towards my shape and just stay there, and then I can adjust with the clothes that I'm wearing how it's going to fit for me. Um, I've fallen in love with strapless bras now because I've found that the lightly lined strapless bras are really working well for me. This is called the Simply Strapless. Um, we discontinued this one at the moment, I think. I got this during the semi-annual sale for myself um, and I really like it. It's very thin. It's very elastic-y. I love the back. It's so seamless. If you look at that, it's so, so, so seamless. I love that. This is also the lightly lined wear everywhere strapless bra. If you are, like I said, hitting that D, double D range, it might be a good option to try a lightly lined strapless bra. But if you are on this um, smaller scale, so the A to B's or the C's even, um, maybe getting a push-up will support you better and you'll fill it out more because there's more padding inside. So that's something to keep in mind um, just when you're looking for strapless bras. And then I'll go into clothes as well. Uh, but I wanted to talk about bralettes and unlined bras. So during the summer, I am all about my bralettes, my my light, just really light bras that are not very, you know, I don't feel like there, there's any, there's no wires, it's just comfortable. These bralettes I typically wear with a lot of my just like t-shirts when I don't want any 
fuss. Um, I don't want to go in depth. I just really want to generally talk about like bras 101. Like I said, if you have further questions, feel free to comment down below. You can even email me, I think. Um, just figure out a way to get that question to me and I'd love, love, love to answer it for you. So going on to clothes. So something like this. I've got a peephole in the front. I've got this cross neck, this gorgeous cross neck. Um, that would be pretty bad if I wore like a bra strap that went around like this. Um, I also have a racer back and a low back. So I thought this dress was perfect to show you with um, just because I know that some people are like, you know, I don't know what to wear and this and that. So um, if I were to wear one of these, number one, it will show. This cup will show right under here, you'll see it. Even if I try to cross back it, even if I try to halter neck it, won't work because you'll see it through the back because it's low back. So if I tried to wear a strapless bra, probably won't work because number one, you'll probably see the center gore right here as well as the band in the back. So what I like to opt for with dresses like these, and I hope it's coming up on camera. I know it's a little bit hard, but I just wanted to show you. I wear petals. Petals are huge. I got these at Rite Aid for like four, three dollars or four dollars. Um, this comes in a pack of three. I wore petals when I wore this dress. Petals are huge when you want to just, when you have a dress like this. Um, it's just really simple. You don't have to fuss. You won't worry about like adjusting things and constantly looking at the mirror just to make sure that nothing's poking out or this and that and all that crazy stuff. So I like to wear petals, but if you are looking for something that's going to push some, push you together, I'd recommend getting like the new bra. Um, I know Victoria's Secret sells um, like a backless bra that sticks onto your breast and then you clasp it towards the middle. That's going to give you push up as well as a little bit more support, um, but I do find that not a lot of people like spending that much money on it, so pedals might be a good option for you if you don't if you're not worrying about getting push up. If you are, I would go to, like I said, your local Victoria's Secret, go to your Target, go to your Kate, or like wherever you go, Kohl's, I'm not sure, TJ Maxx or wherever you guys shop for your intimates, um, and go, uh, go there. Um, figure out what options they have for you, but I really like pedals and I'd recommend pedals just because you don't have to fuss. Like I said, I got these at Rite Aid and I can honestly I think all pedals are the same. I would personally not recommend silicone pedals. The reason I wouldn't recommend silicone pedals is just because you might get an extra layer of something. Like it might not fit around your areola perfectly, so I would recommend just like a nice soft pedal. This is like bandage. Um, this is a bandage like pedal. Here's a top that I like to wear with either petals or um, a strapless bra. These days, like off the shoulder is huge, um, so I recommend getting a nice strapless bra. But this one um, has an elastic band that goes right around here, so when I lean forward, nothing's hanging out, nothing's showing. Um, so I don't mind wearing petals with these because I know that it's not going to loosen up and then you'll see everything in there. Um, so yeah, that's just a little tip. This is from H&M. Um, by the way, my dress, this black one, is from Zara. Other bralettes too. I got this from Victoria's Secret. Um, this was from Pink, and this is just the date halter neck, I want to say. Um, the lace halter neck bra. And I wore this under my tops that look more like this. These have been really popular these days. This high neck line, um, it's kind of you know, up here and then it cuts straight down. In this case, I would wear um, petals, very safe option. Strapless bra, very safe option. As well as um, something like this. A lot of people were curious how I wore this, so I just wanted to feature this in the video. Um, this, I would wear under this kind of a top. I'd wear on its own, with if on a night out, I know, with a high-waisted skirt or like a high-waisted pair of shorts or something and then like a cute little flannel or jacket over or something like that. Um, if you're a little bit more in a hotter area then I think you can get away with this but if you are wearing it to like work or something I'd wear it with a nice top like this and a nice cardigan or jacket or sweater kind of thing over it. Um, and then you can also try out the halter neck. Um, I probably wouldn't do it with this just because the band of this is so thick you'll probably see it. Um, so I think a pretty safe option would be a strapless. That's like kind of generally the whole extent of this video. Like I said, if you have further questions, comment down below, email me, Instagram me, DM me, Twitter, whatever. Figure out a way to get your question to me because I'd love to answer all your questions. Like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm not. 
I am an amateur, um, just learning through my retail experience, fitting room experiences, customer experiences, and this is just generally what I found with most of the customers I've worked with. So I thought that this information would be really good to get on my YouTube channel for those of you who are having trouble wearing some bras. Um, I wanted to demo it, but I felt a little bit uncomfortable, so maybe if I can get in a mannequin um, and show you guys based off of the mannequin, I think if you guys like that, then like this video or comment down below let me know if you guys would want more in depth depth with my bra videos and things like that um I know this is really different from most of my videos and I do makeup and stuff but this is also really important to know I'm very very open to answering any questions from you guys I hope I didn't offend anyone with showing you guys what I have um I really am not trying to show off or anything like that. I'm just give you guys helpful information for your everyday life so that your life is easier and more comfortable and you're not worrying about your bras or you know constantly doing one of these or constantly fixing it up and stuff. So um, I hope that I taught you guys something or this was helpful for you guys. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos from me, subscribe to my channel. Um, but I also just wanted to say it might be a good idea to get into your local... Uh, like I said, Victoria's Secret is a great place to go just because it is a shop for bras. Soma, Target, um, wherever they do measurements. I know Nordstrom, probably Calvin Klein I know might do it too. Um, but any of those shops are great. If you go to the mall, pop in, get your size, um, try something on to see what's comfortable for you. And then if you um, saw anything that you ha liked personally, I will leave um, them down below. Yeah, if you haven't seen my recent videos, I will leave them down below as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.